It's 490 BC and Persia's massive empire threatens Greece and the city-state of Athens. Everything was on the line for the Athenians. They knew that if the Persians took their city, it meant complete destruction. To save Greece, Commander Miltiades and his citizen army must defeat Persian commander Datis and his imperial forces at Marathon. No Greek army had ever defeated a Persian army before. So they must have been very, very scared of the prospects. You are Commander Miltiades. You face the questions that could win or lose the war. We ask, you decide. Test your skills, strategy and nerve in Command Decisions. By 490 BC, the Persian Empire has conquered most of the known world, what's known today as the Middle East and Asia. Athens, a democratic city-state in Greece, has angered the Persians by providing aid to a small Greek rebellion. The Persians wanted to punish the Athenians for joining in a rebellion against them. They were determined to burn the city of Athens to the ground and put one of their pro-Persian kings in, in place of the Athenian government. King Darius, the great Persian ruler, wants revenge. He sends his most trusted military officer, Commander Datus, to crush Athens and claim Greece for Persia. With Greece under Persian control, there would be nothing to stop the empire's expansion into Western Europe. He's got one avenue, and his expansion route is via Greece out and into Western Europe as we know it nowadays. Greece and the Athenians, the Spartans, these nation states in his way were the one thing that could hold him up. In early September, on a small island just off Persia's western coast, Commander Datis loads 200 ships with 30,000 troops and crosses the Aegean Sea towards Athens. On the way, he conquers several Greek islands, including Eretria. He captured Eretria pretty easily and burned it to the ground and took the population off into slavery. Riding the wave of victory, Datis and his army land their ships at Marathon, a plain on the eastern coast of Greece. They're feeling dangerously confident. They expected a very easy victory. They thought the Greeks would either run away or surrender, or if it actually came to a fight, that they would outnumber and outflank the Greeks and wipe them out easily. Back in Athens, the citizens spot the ships and mobilize an army of 11,000 to face the trained Persian warriors. Their leader is Commander Miltiades, an Athenian nobleman who served with the Persian army in his youth. The citizens look to him for the ideal location to make their stand. You are Commander Miltiades. Where's the best place to face the Persian army? A. The shore. Force the Persians to fight before they've settled. B. The city. Protect your people while you fight. C. The road. Keep the battle close to home without endangering the city. The answer? You don't know which road the Persians will take to Athens, and protecting your people in the city won't give you an offensive edge. But since Greeks typically fight from inside their cities, meeting the Persian army on the shore at Marathon is a bold move that will catch Datis off guard. The answer is A. The Persians would have been surprised, first of all, to see the Athenians on the battlefield in such numbers. They certainly would have expected observers, but they wouldn't have expected the whole of the Athenian army. As 11,000 Athenian soldiers march to Marathon, Miltiades sends his fastest soldier, Phidippides, 150 miles on foot to Sparta. Although the Spartans are Athenian rivals, Miltiades hopes they'll consider fighting together against a common enemy. Athens and Sparta had both had disagreements with the Persian Empire over the past 50 years, so the Athenians were confident that the Spartans would come to their help. But when Pheidippides arrives, the Spartans are in the middle of a religious festival. They will not march until the full moon, nearly a week away. The Athenians are on their own to face the Persian attack. <laughs> on the
On the 11th of September, Miltiades and the Athenians arrive at Marathon and observe their enemy from a tree-covered hillside. Datis' army is well equipped with cavalry and archers, and with over 30,000 men, the Persians outnumber the Athenians three to one. When the Athenians arrived at Marathon and saw the Persian army, they were terrified. Half of the Athenian generals didn't want to fight at all. For six days, Miltiades stays put, unsure of his first move, while Datis waits for him to emerge from the hills and fight on open ground. But each passing day poses a new threat for Miltiades. While the Greek army's away from the city, Athens could fall prey to traitors. How do you protect Athens from traitors? A. Send a detachment to Athens. Buy time to wait for the Spartans. B. Return to Athens yourself. Your presence will silence traitors. C. Attack now. Finish the battle and return to Athens as quickly as possible. The answer? Sending a detachment of your troops to Athens will weaken your forces, and your experience fighting with the Persian army makes you vital to the battle at hand. Your only option is to attack now, finish the battle, and return to Athens as quickly as possible. The answer is C. He thought that if the Athenians didn't fight, divisions would grow back in the city and someone would betray Athens to the Persians without a battle ever taking place. With the fate of Athens on the line, Miltiades has no choice but to fight now. He's in luck. Datis has ordered his cavalry loaded onto ships and transported ahead to Athens. The absence of horses will give the Athenians an advantage at Marathon. These animals weren't timid little riding horses. These were horses of war. They were trained killers. By removing the horses from the battlefields, the Persians have effectively passed power to the Athenians. But the Persian infantry line is still nearly a mile long. Since his army is greatly outnumbered, Miltiades must lengthen his line to match the Persian troops or leave his flanks open to attack. In order to extend the line, Miltiades must thin and therefore weaken part of the line. What part of the infantry line should remain strong? A. The center, where the Persians put their best troops. B. The flanks. Easily slaughter Persia's weakest troops and win the war by momentum. C. The rear. Soldiers can quickly move forward to exploit any breakthroughs. It's the 17th of September, 490 BC. The Battle of Marathon. The fate of civilized Greece is on the line as Commander Miltiades and his Athenian soldiers prepare to face Commander Datis and the mighty Persian army. But the 11,000 Athenian soldiers are outnumbered three to one by the 30,000 Persians, and the enemy front is over a mile long. Miltiades must extend and therefore thin his formation to match the Persian line. You are Commander Miltiades. What part of the infantry line should remain strong? A. The center, where the Persians put their best troops. B. The flanks, easily slaughter Persia's weakest troops and win the war by momentum. C. The rear, soldiers can quickly move forward to exploit any breakthroughs. The answer? Although a strong center sounds like a good idea, your army could easily become outflanked and strengthening the back line will leave your front line defenseless. But keeping the flanks strong allows you to crush Persia's weakest troops and control the boundaries of the battle. The answer is B. When Miltiades brought his army down to face the Persians, he was hoping that his plan would work. He didn't know if it would work because nobody had ever tried it before. Commander Miltiades deliberately weakens the center of his line, leaving the flanks strong. The Athenians walk shoulder to shoulder down the hill towards the waiting enemy. The Athenians must have been terrified as they marched down the hill toward the Persian army. Probably very few Athenians thought they would make it out of this battle alive. 
As the Athenian army approaches, Datis orders the Persians to stand ready with bows and arrows. How do you tell your troops to avoid the arrows? A. Use shields. They'll deflect arrows. B. Walk zigzag. You'll be a difficult target. C. Charge the enemy. You'll cover the target area faster. The answer? The soldiers are marching too closely to make zigzag effective, and cowering under shields will slow the advance. But if you charge the enemy, you'll startle the Persian archers and be less vulnerable to attack. The answer is C.